Well, I hate being the bearer of bad news, so hopefully you guys already knew about this, but uh, King's Dominion has recently announced the closure of Volcano the Blast Coaster. The blog post that they released stated that it was a tough decision for them to make, but they said, quote, over time, it became nearly impossible to keep the ride up to our high standards of reliability and guest satisfaction, and those were the reasons why they had to make the tough call. And they also speak that they know how loved it was, and so hence why probably we are just now getting the announcement, as opposed to at the end of the season. I believe the last time Volcano actually operated was April of 2018. It wasn't open at all last summer. I actually only read it once in 2018. Most of you guys know I go to school on the other side of the country, even though I'm from Virginia. And so I was there for opening weekend of Twisted Timbers and I rode Volcano one time and I didn't make a big deal about it because I was mainly focusing on Twisted Timbers. I wanted to get lots of rides on that. And I thought, oh, I'll just ride Volcano, Intimidator, Dominator, plenty when I get back at the end of the semester. And then Volcano was closed and it never reopened. And it's kind of sad because I don't actually remember my last ride that I had on Volcano. I know that I rode it that weekend, but I don't remember where I rode, who I rode it with, only that I did it. The clip that you're watching now is the only shot I actually took of Volcano in 2018. And so if you can't tell, I'm pretty sad about this. Volcano has had a soft spot in my heart for as long as I remember. And I know there's probably going to be a lot of people that are going to be like pretty mad about this, but I didn't really want to make a video just kind of ranting on King's Dominion because, I mean, they just built Twisted Timbers, which is an absolutely phenomenal ride. Before Twisted Timbers, I considered Volcano the second best ride in the park. Twisted Timbers since took that spot for me. For a lot of people, it's their favorite ride in the park. And so for that short two month period of time, King's Dominion had an incredible top three. Volcano has forever been one of the most unique rides ever built. That mountain used to be home to Smurf Mountain, Voyage to Atlantis, and a few others. So Volcano the Blast Coaster has not been the only ride that has had a home in that mountain, but it is by far the most iconic and the most loved. So like I said, I didn't really want to make a video kind of ranting about how this is a bad decision because really the writing was kind of on the wall because before 2018, 2017, Volcano wasn't even open that much. It was down for most of the summer. And so I'm not surprised that Kingsman really had to make a tough call on this because they probably would have had to do an incredibly huge overhaul and I'm sure they tried but it just became too much. So what I'm really interested in seeing is when the park opens for the 2019 season if the track will be there, if the track will be all gone, if the Volcano Mountain will still be there or if it'll all just be leveled. Who's to say? But what I thought I'd make this video about mainly was actually just kind of sharing some fond memories I had of Volcano. Most of you know Kingsmere is my home park so I've been going there since I was a little kid and actually a fun fact about me that not all of you guys know is I keep trying track of every time I ride a ride, I document it so I could tell you how many times I've ridden every coaster I've ever ridden. Volcano, I rode a total of 53 times in my life, which may not seem that much, but keep in mind, Volcano has always been the most popular ride in the park, so it consistently had a long line, so I almost never rewrote it over and over again. Like, it was a treat if we got ERT on Volcano, or you saw Volcano as a walk-on. Most of the time, my gauge for telling how crowded King's Man was is I'd walk up to Volcano, I'd take a look in the switchbacks, and I'd decide whether I wanted to ride it or not that day. And if it was to a certain point where I knew it was gonna be a 45 minute wait or longer, I said, no, I'm not gonna do it, just because it was at my home park, I ride it all the time. So 53 times in my life, not a ton. It's my fourth most ridden coaster at King's Dominion at the moment, with of course Intimidator 35 being number one, as I've ridden that more than any other ride on the planet. But I still have plenty of fond memories and I'm grateful for those 53 rides as opposed to someone who maybe never got to ride it. And I hate saying it, but I mean, if you never got to ride it, it really is sad because that ride was incredible. I remember the first time I even heard about Volcano. So when I was a kid, I went to King's Dominion and it was back in the Paramount days. I was real small, so I never rolled Volcano and I don't have any memories of it. But then there were several years where we never went to the park. And so slowly I got older and my memories of King's Dominion diminished. I was watching all these different point of view videos of the park and I remember seeing Volcano and just freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh. This looks amazing. It was something I said, man, if, when we go to King's Man, we actually like, get season passes this year. That's what I want to ride first. And so I was probably in the seventh grade. The first time that we went back to King's Dominion was my first time getting on all of the rides. And it was a really crowded day. I remember if we went on 4th of July or like that weekend or something, but it was absolutely slammed. And if I had known how slammed it was, we probably wouldn't have done this, but we got in line for Volcano and waited over three hours for it. To this day, it is still the longest I have ever waited for a ride. We got in line when it was daylight and then by the time we got off it was pitch black. But that first time riding Volcano, it was so surreal. We had spent all this time waiting in line 
just me and my dad. I don't even remember where we were sitting, probably the middle, we didn't care at that point. And those launches were just insane. I could never figure out which way was right side up if we were upside down. And then when we hit the brakes, my sense of direction was just totally off. I was just trying to wrap my head around what was happening. Volcano wasn't my first big coaster that I rode, but at the time it probably was the most extreme coaster I had ever ridden because I did ride it before I rode Intimidator 305. So it was like nothing else I had ever experienced. And so from that moment on, there was a period of time where Volcano was my favorite ride at King's Dominion over Intimidator. Probably my favorite memory I had of King's Dominion was actually the time I got a rollback. And I got a rollback twice on this thing. They're both at Ace events during Fall Thrill Fest. If you wanted a rollback on it, it pretty much had to be when it was a bit chillier early in the morning before it warmed up. And before I got a rollback, I had never actually even heard of it ever rolling back. It was funny, so I got in the front row, I'm sitting with a complete stranger and we're rolling out and to the right, as you're departing the station, it has a sign that said, warning this ride may roll back. And I said to the person next to me, you know, has this thing ever actually rolled back? Like, come on, I've never heard of it rolling back. And it was the craziest thing, like you can't make this kind of thing up. I know it sounds fake, but man, I swear, as soon as then we launched, banked around the turn and went to speed up, we didn't. The launch didn't kick in and I knew it felt different because I had written it so many times. I knew what that second launch felt like. And then we go to shoot up and we do not make it over again. I'm sitting in the front row and here I am, my first ever rollback. I flipped out. We started falling backwards. We banked back and then hit the brakes back where that first launch was. I was freaking out. Okay, so I'm sitting in the front row seat of Volcano and we just experienced a rollback. It was incredible. So we're just sitting here waiting for a maintenance guy to come out. Uh, it was insane. What do you think of it? It was first time. Oh, something's happening. Uh, oh, we're going back. So, yeah, once a lifetime opportunity. It wasn't. Guess what? We rolled back again. And when I really think about it, I think Volcano was one of the big reasons why I had a such big attachment to King's Dominion versus, you know, Busch Gardens Williamsburg. There's a lot of reasons why I hold King's Dominion close to my heart, but Volcano being so unique and so different and just a huge adrenaline rush in such a short amount of time and being like a really well-themed experience, easily the best themed ride in the park, shooting out of a volcano for Pete's sake, an artificial mountain. There was simply nothing else like it. And I've been sure to involve Volcano a lot over the years here at Coaster Studios. In addition to your basic things like reviews. I actually did a parody of Volcano. That's that famous scene where I sent my dad out in the snow running around in shorts. Oh, no. Volcano even had its own moment in Kings of Mia Lifetime of Memories, the documentary I did. I'll throw a link to both the documentary and the parody in the description for this video so you can watch those if you haven't seen them already. So I think to just kind of wrap this up, at the end of the day, I'm really grateful for all the different experiences I had with Volcano over the years. I'm thankful for all the different memories I had, all the ERT I ever got on it, or those opportunities I had to bring friends on it for their first time. And I am really sad to see it go, I really am. At the moment, Volcano is now my favorite defunct coaster I've ever ridden. I think before this is probably Dueling Dragons, and that was sad to see it go, but with King's Man being my home park, this one is just hitting me on a whole nother level. But I don't think we should be mad at King's Man. I mean, the ride of this nature, it's no surprise that it had so many technical difficulties. I'm honestly surprised that it lasted this long. I mean, think about Hypersonic XLC, how long that one lasted. So I'm glad that Volcano was able to operate for as long as it did, and I hope that King's Man will really evaluate that space give it some thought, and come up with a worthy successor for what to do with that section of the park. And in the comments section, guys, please don't rail on King's Dominion. As they said in the blog post, this was a really tough decision for him. I completely understand why they chose to do it. So instead, in the comments section, I love if you could do what I did. Why don't you share your favorite memories you ever had with Volcano? If you're like me, if the ride ever held a special place in your heart. It's sad when rides get removed, especially ones that were really well loved, but it's part of life. Things come and go. But I'm thankful for all the memories that I had with the Volcano and can't wait to see what Kingsman does in the future. Volcano the Blast Coaster, may you rest in peace.